With Flight 3 concluded, 343 sets their sights on PC for Flight 3. What did 343 learn from Xbox flighting and how to sign up for the PC flight? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you an news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you wanna see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below. If you guys have got a chance to play Flight 3 or if you're looking forward to PC, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, must stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you notified. We may never do anything awesome on the channel. So let's get right into the content here. So like I said at the top of this video, Xbox Flighting 3 has been over for about a week or so now, and now 343 has had a chance to look into the information, all the data, analyze it, and figure out what we have learned from those experiences. So I'm going to break it down in this video, guys. So let's get right into it. So Post was put up on Waypoint saying this, that this flight's main goals were to test out the back end and each of the matchmaking offerings that were going to be available when MCC comes to PC and Halo Reach joins MCC on the Xbox One. Uh, so they said they're going to test out that kind of stuff. Also various things as well. I guess we do know there was a stress test, which was very informative, which they got into in here. Uh, they said that was over 90 days played of total gameplay for this flight. So quite a high amount of people playing this, which is great to see. Apparently over 50,000 people were invited to this flight. And they're kind of delved, dealt out in waves as well, so they can kind of test out their delivery and kind of test out different styles of engagement as well when it comes to people that they are inviting. So that was a great way to kind of get some more information out of the player base as well, which is great to see. As I mentioned, they did a stress test on October 5th that basically kind of helped put a test on the networking of Halo Reach. And they said they hit their goals with currently 4,000 concurrent players at that time playing Halo Reach. And some various players, if they played 5 to 12 matches, got various different kind of name plays with that. So they really do appreciate the efforts in that. Uh, they even listed out the top 10 players who gained, played the most games. And we actually found Bound was number one, who, if you guys don't know Bound, he's a beast at Halo. He uh, you know, kind of made a name for himself back during the Halo 5 days and now looking to kind of maybe make a name for himself during Halo Reach. Played the most games at 429 games. But a familiar name you might be seeing here is Mint Blitz. Actually finished the close second place just behind Bound. So pretty cool to see that uh, you know, we got some very notable people in the community playing which is great to see. Postums does say in this post that if uh, you guys are done playing Halo Reach you can go ahead and delete that build as that build will never be used again so go ahead and then if any build is going to be coming in on the xbox they're going to be replacing that build so just go ahead delete the insider build that you have on your xbox is free up some space right there for you guys now they do go into how to sign up for flight 3 on pc as it's a little bit more complicated than on the xbox first thing here you guys have to verify your email make sure you use your xbox live account when signing in you know some people did kind of mess up on that when it came to signing up for the xbox flight as i mentioned in the previous video so make sure you're signed into your proper account on Halo Waypoint. All you gotta do is type in HaloInsider.com. It'll take you right to the page and hit sign up. And it'll take you right through the process right there. Now, various steps you need to do when it comes to signing up. One is uh, giving 343 a DXDIAG file or a diagnostic file, if you wanna call it short, uh, just so they, they know that the specific build of your PC, how much RAM, your GPU, your CPU, things like that. Post some stuff stressed about three times or four times over in this post, which isn't very lengthy, to say make sure that is updated as it's very important to know who to bring into this flight. And so make sure you guys plan up that. I did it, it's very easy to do. Just follow the steps, take your time. You will be able to figure it out. And so it's just very simple process to follow through on that. It's just like a simple, low quality file. And they, like I said, it takes you through the steps of how to do it one by one. Very easy to follow right there. And also make sure to link your Steam account as well. Again, on the Halo Insider website, it takes you through that entire process. I did it, it's very simple. If I'm able to do it easily, you guys I'm sure can do it easily as well. So make sure you do that as well. So if you get your send your DXDIG file, you link your Xbox account with your on Halo Waypoint, you link your Steam account to this file as well. And then guys, you will be set and ready to go for Flight 3 on PC. Talking about Flight 3, what is the current status of it? Well, 
Customs goes into that as well in this update. So currently it looks like they have a build that looks about ready to possibly be shipped out for us Halo Insiders. Uh, if you guys remember, there are three rings when it comes to, or sorry, I should say four rings when it comes to the uh, testing process. Ring zero is internal testing at 343. Ring two is out, oh, sorry, ring one is out to uh, some external partners. Ring two is out to some further extended reach partners and flight th and ring three being us, the Halo Insiders. So currently it's at ring zero at the last time we mentioned it. They are working over the weekend to hammer out some of the details and some of the blocking issues to resolve it, to bring it up to ring one and two. If there are no issues found over the weekend, it's looking like it will be shipped out to ring one and ring two users to come back with their own blockers to show what the hell so they can, can update on. Now remember guys, when it came to flight three, that it, it was a pretty fast process once they started doing this ring testing as it probably took about a week at the most for them to hammer out all these issues and especially since the process has gone along so long when it comes to developing reach onto PC that I can imagine this uh, ring process to be rather quick. Again, at the moment of making this video on Saturday, there are currently no dates uh, given when it comes to when Flight 3 is happening, but I'm assuming it will be happening within a week or two of, the, of when this video is being posted. My biggest worry is that this weekend on the 25th, the new Call of Duty games being released, I was really looking forward to playing that and i would really hate to kind of divide up my time between the two games this weekend but that's just me but anyways guys so let's get right into what's going to be in flight 3 on pc which is going to be the most content provided in a flight and that's looking quite tasty so in this flight are going to include two campaign missions offering some social and ranked multiplayer custom games as well as firefight onto this one here so again there is no theater mode and no forge as those will not be available features on release on pc so sadly enough there but they, but they will be features on the xbox i'm assuming it probably needs a little bit more time in the oven to cook right there so the content that's going to be in this playlist the campaign missions are noble actual which is the intro cutscene to halo reach and winter contingency was the which is the first playable mission in halo reach so we get a whole new campaign mission to check out guys technically it's really one mission but they tech but technically it's two but really it's one if you know what i mean uh firefight is going to be contain containing a uh, heroic standard firefight on beachhead corvette and holdout as well as gr four player grab bag on the same maps as well now multiplayer offerings is going to be two for two social captain slayer zealot on social there's going to be uh, slayer bomb flag zone controls asset denial and action sack on the maps countdown powerhouse zealot and tempest uh 8v8 big team battle is going to be a play with slayer flag bomb zone control and asset denial on tempest breakpoint and ridgeline and also halo reach team hardcore is going to be slayer and capture the flag on zealot and also on countdown and there's also going to be halo reach invasion on breakpoint so the exact same uh process that was in flight 3 for multiplayer on the xbox they're bringing it over to pc as well Oorah! so yeah i stated in the beginning of this video guys there is currently no date set for flight 3 but i'm assuming it'd be within a week or two of this was because this sounds very similar of the process that happened when it came to the xbox so keep an eye out for that keep an eye on your emails guys for that uh, email to come in sometimes it goes into your spam sometimes it goes into your junk folder uh your trash folder uh you're not standard folders keep an eye out on that guys it seemed like a lot of people kind of resolved that issue uh between last fl set flight two and flight three so that's good to see uh, but keep an eye out on that again i will let you guys know on this channel either in a community post or an actual video when f emails will be sent out guys I'll, which now i'm sure you're wondering after watching through this video you're probably thinking well when is this game actually coming out is it even coming out this year what are your thoughts when is it happening have you heard anything about it uh, from my thoughts on this, well, first of all, we have no idea when this game is coming out. No official announcements, no official guidelines or timetables or anything like that, which is good. You know, we don't want to put pigeonhole 343 into uh, putting out a game at a certain time when it's not ready. We want this game to be ready when it's released. When will it be ready to be released onto MCC? I'm assuming about one month after the last flight. I'm assuming that this flight three on PC is going to be the last flight. And I think it's gonna be running for about a week. And so then I'm assuming probably about a month after flight three on PC concludes, and if there's no major issues that pop up, which I wouldn't expect since it's already been kind of tested for what they're trying to do here, that I would think that the game would probably would be releasing uh, mid to end of November, maybe in December, actually, is what I'm thinking this release date might happen. Uh, again, this is all pure speculation. There's no word on that at all. 
Uh, I feel like it keeps pushing back and back, but I'm pretty positive that this game's going to be released this year. I would not expect a 2020 release uh, just because after this flight, I wouldn't imagine much more work to be done uh, if everything goes according to plan as well. But uh, that's my thoughts is that I would think probably late November, early December, I'm assuming we'd see Halo Reach come to the MCC. So make sure you tap subscribe to keep up to date with everything going on the channel, guys. If you found this video informational, learn something today, make sure you like that button as it greatly helps out the video and channel a lot if you guys uh are, had a chance to play a flight through what's your what's the thing you're looking forward to most if you're playing on pc guys let me know in the comment section down below i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well and if, and, uh, if you guys are new to the channel or miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out